Teaching in the classroom, the church, the community organization is the challenge of our rapidly advancing technology. Fortunately, this same technology has provided us with many devices that enable any teacher or leader to be more effective. One of them is a sound motion picture projector. A well-established routine of operation and maintenance will assure you a steady and willing servant. Let's see how it works. Here's the Victor projector as it might arrive in your classroom. Shall we set it up? There. But let's start over and see it one step at a time. Remove the lid, open the door, put real arms in place, place the spring belts, plug in power cord and speaker cord. You will establish your own setup routine after you've done it once or twice. Now we come to the crucial step for making a good showing, threading the film properly. Let's follow this operation in detail. The first step is to find the path of the film as it moves through the projector. Here we see it marked as a light line. Knowing the film path is half the job. Before threading, open all the points of contact. First, the sound tension rollers. Second, the swing out lens. Third and last, the film shoes. The supply reel is placed on the rear arm and the take up reel at front. For simplicity and speed, thread the Victor bottom to top. The various parts of the projector that we'll use in threading are the sound drum, the sound sprocket, front and rear tension rollers, the three safety film trips, the drive sprocket, the film gate channel, and the lens. Now, slide the film over the sound drum. Make sure the sprocket holes are firmly engaged. Close the front and rear tension rollers. That's the first step. Next, thread the film loosely behind the middle safety film trip and under the drive sprocket. Again, make sure the sprocket holes are firmly engaged and close the bottom film shoe. There. That's the second step. Now the third and last step. Place the film in the film gate channel, allowing a loop the size of your index finger below the safety film trip. Close the lens. Thread the film over the top of the drive sprocket, making sure the sprocket holes are engaged. And close the top film shoe. That's it. There isn't any more to it. For those of you who have never seen a projector threaded before, Let's watch the complete operation again. First. Second. Third and last. The projector is now threaded. Here's a simple check that can be made. By turning the hand operating control, you can easily tell if the film is properly threaded through the projector. With the Victor, if the projector is incorrectly threaded, or if the film is defective, these safety film trips automatically stop the projector. Let's turn our attention to sound. On all models of the Victor, the amplifier controls are separated from the motor controls. On this model, the amplifier controls and the speaker plug are at the rear. On other models, they're on top. But on all models, the amplifier controls 
are in a separate area. Before showing the picture, the exciter lamp and the amplifier must be turned on. Now we can operate the projector. Select sound or silent speed, raise lever to operate, press motor switch down, press lamp switch down, center the film with instant tilt, adjust the focus and the frame line, and the show is on. On occasion, you may want to stop the movie on a particular frame, like this. Let's take a closer look at the action. First, stop the projector by releasing the top safety film trip. Next, depress the still picture lever. Then, turn the hand operating lever slightly to get the full picture. To resume the showing, release the still picture lever and raise the operating lever. Ever so often, you may want to reverse the film. That's simply done. Let's see it. You merely depress the rear tension roller. If you plan to show the film again, it must be rewound. But remember, do not rewind the film if it is to be returned to a library. With the Victor, you need not change the reels or belts. Simply thread the film directly back to the supply reel. Make sure the operating lever is released. Depress the rewind lever and keep it down until it is completely rewound. To make sure your projector gives you the best possible performance, develop the habit of cleaning and lubricating it properly. With a chamois or a soft lintless cloth, regularly clean the film channel and the aperture plate. Clean the lens with lens cleaning tissue and the film shoes with a soft lintless cloth. Then the safety film trip and the rollers. Simple cleaning such as this should be done before each showing. After each 10 hours of use, with power cord disconnected, the optical system should be cleaned. If the lamp is burned out, it can easily be replaced. Similarly, the sound system should be cleaned after each 10 hours of use. If film emotion hardens the gate or rollers, remove with a dampened cloth or toothpick. The sound slit should be cleaned with a soft, lintless cloth wrapped around a stick. Be sure the lens and the slot are free from lint. These easily performed cleaning tasks are all that's necessary. After each 100 hours of use, fill this lubricating cup with the recommended oil. And that's it. Simple directions for replacing lamps, tubes, and fuses can be found in the Victor Operating Manual. Here, too, you will find some practical suggestions for improving your film showings. But most important, here is an audiovisual tool that can help you do a better job of teaching and leading. A better job of getting the ideas that are on film across to your students. It's easy to learn the simple operating and maintenance principles of the Victor 16 millimeter projector. And once the principles are understood, you will have an able ally in meeting the challenge of our time.